Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're doing a football break this time. 2020 Prism Draft Picks. This is a Panini product, obviously. We're looking for the top uh, prospects of 2020 draft class. And we'll be right up front, honest with y'all. We don't know all the top rookies. We know some of them. Uh, but we know Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, yep. And uh, <laughs> a few others. But uh, we got two of these. Uh, fat packs or cello packs where you get the pink um, exclusive uh, pulsar prisms and then in the blaster box you get 30 cards and the, you get six blue parallels and a chance at you know autographs and uh, points and all that kind of fun stuff so we'll see what we get out of these the blaster boxes run you 20 or 22 dollars depending on if you're buying them at walmart meyer uh, we got these at meyer and the rack packs are, uh, or the cell packs are ten ninety five or whatever. So. Yeah, they change the format so you only get two packs, just like basketball. Um, we haven't done a football break in a very long time. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a long time since we did a football break. We didn't. We op actually opened up a lot of this stuff last year because you got like an autograph and every other cello pack, and they're honestly a super good value. Um, that's kind of cool, a Jarrett Stidham. That's cool. Maybe the Patriots quarterback. I don't know. People are pretty high on his stuff, but I'm not sure if that's going to work out for everybody. Debo, there's a good one. Debo, he had a good um, playoffs. And I'm trying to think. Tyler Johnson. Don't Tyler know Tyler Johnson, I don't know who that is either. So if he's good, let us know. Uh, we... And a wide receiver for Minnesota. Luke will look some of these up when I'm opening them to see if we got any big names, but... Um, yeah, we did this last year and did really well with these. Had a ton of fun opening these. They're selling. Lot too. Yeah, they're selling really well too. Keenan Allen. I like the look of these. Yeah, they're they cool. They look nice. Tony Pollard, Terry McLaurin. He had a good year with the Redskins. Denzel Mims, rookie for what is that? Baylor. BU. Yeah. Yep. Um, Jared Goff and Marquise Brown. All right. Next up. The pink pulsars generally sell well, at least in the past. Let's they go did. take a look, actually, and see. I haven't looked yet to see. I think you can get numbered parallels in here. Yeah, numbered from 125 to 1. So there are some numbered stuff. I've seen um, JT Pack Breaks did a few videos of this stuff, and he hit some numbered cards. So, um, Chlorin, Mari Cooper, a silver of Josh Jacobs. It's pretty cool. He had a very good season last year. Ooh, nice. There we go. That's a good card. Joe Burrow. Yeah. These are actually pretty tough. So um, Yeah, that's a, that's a sweet one. Cool. You don't really get, like, la the last time when they did this, you got a lot of rookies. Yeah, this um, time this you get, time like, one not, rookie yeah, a it's pack, like one I think. Rookie. Yep. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So it's very hard to pull one of the bigger names if you're only getting one rookie a pack. Yeah, and I don't know how. Usually Panini, it says 150 card base set. So there's 50 rookies, so. Well, that's different right. than in years past. Well, maybe the autograph subjects, because they used to get all kinds of wacky... Yeah, I know. It used to be, like, mostly... Undrafted, or potentially... Obviously, we don't know who's drafted yet, but it'd be, like, guys that are never going to get drafted in the first, you know, few rounds or drafted rounds. at all. Yeah, <laughs> Like, people who just probably won't get drafted. Um, some of them might still play in the NFL, but just won't be drafted all right blaster box so you get um look for 30 cards six packs five cards per pack um look for college ties autographs retail exclusive parallels number to 125 or less and find six blue parallels per blaster knock the blaster over all right there we go so we will see what these are like now these cards go down a lot in value after the draft is over and the other products come out but right now they're about the main show in town so cool. these do look nice i like the yeah. design lamar jackson there's a nice peyton manning blue that's cool yeah that's cool um deandre swift, swift for georgia i think i know this guy running back yeah um, i think he's pretty decent Yeah, he's decent i think they had like last year i watched a couple of their games and they had like three or four different running backs that they'd throw in all the time and so um look at, look at this on the back of the pack it says blaster on it. That's kind of weird. Isn't that weird? It's like they identify the pack. Yeah. All right, so we got Delvin Cook, Marquise Brown, Alabama Silver, Xavier McKinney, 
Um, I believe he is a safety. Yep, safety. Anytime um, you a, get a silver Alabama, that's a good he's thing. He's a projected first rounder, so that's cool. Um, Jordan La- Love, Love, he's, he's good. Another good rookie yep, too. He's so. projected at least by one of the mock drafts we saw going uh, to right. possibly the Saints in the first round. So, yeah, we'll see. The draft definitely should be interesting. Give us something sports related to watch. So, Daryl Henderson, um, silver of Albert. Something that guy, yeah. I was gonna say, looks like a tight end. I was just a tight end farm, so um, Jacob Eason, rookie, uh, QB for, Washington. for Washington, yeah. I don't know, and he's I don't know much about that guy, but isn't the who's the other guy out west that's supposed to be good that love, but isn't there is there another guy or no? I would have to look, I can't remember. I think there is, but. Gurley, another blue, Jerry Rice. That's cool. That's cool. He went to some, oops, I dropped it. He went to some weird college, Danny, like um, middle Mississippi Valley State. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Not many guys have come out of Mississippi Valley State. Brian Lewerke from MSU. Another quarterback. There you go. Never bad thing to hit quarterbacks, even if they have no potential. You just yeah, exactly. never know. You never right? know. You never know. Dak Prescott. I know that one. Sony Michelle. This one's going to be numbered, I'm pretty sure. DJ Moore. Or it's just a non-numbered purple, which it is. Not numbered, yep. Um. All right. Rookie of Colin Johnson from Texas. He looks like a wide receiver. And TJ Hawkinson. And one more pack. These are fun. Yeah, these are fun. I love Prism. I mean, we haven't um, done cool. football in a long time. so a, We have a backwards one here. Interesting. Perhaps an autograph? It says autographs on the side if you can read so, that. So I guess it's an autograph. I guess so. Well, quick look at this. This is an orange. I don't think those are numbered either, but KJ, I could be wrong. K, yeah, KJ Hallmer or Hamler. Um, not numbered. They do look cool, though. Yeah. Um, this guy, Peoples Jones, looks like a wide receiver too, and a Watson. And we'll check out who our autograph is. Hopefully, it's somebody good. Something I'm, sparkly. I'm guessing it's hard to hit good names out of these blasters. It's like a mojo. I think these are numbered to something. It's an Auburn player. It's cool. Jeremiah Dinson. The card looks really sweet. This card's sweet looking. Yeah. I think those are yeah out of 49. Yeah. Um, what position does he play? Looks like a say. running he back. Looks, I think he's a running back. Yeah, twenty is a running up. back. Yeah. Cool. That card's actually really sweet looking. So no complaints there for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna look up the Joe. I I think I heard that Joe Burrow's stuff is selling well out of this. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I think like just his base card has quite a bit of value. Um. All right, I'm gonna save I'm gonna the that up pink too. pack for last. Um. Yeah, I. We Luke and I have busted tons of football in the past. Mm-hmm. It just got to be where there was no value in it besides the quarterbacks. And it was very, very expensive to open, and then you couldn't sell much of anything, and it's hard to keep. There's a Tyler Johnson rookie. Looks like a wide receiver. or a, Yeah, wide receiver. Um, so we kind of got out of it just because the prices kept going up, and... Uh, it was just very hard to recoup any of the cost. And, and on top of it, to collect football players is very hard because you, you get a collection of somebody and they're out of the league in about six months because mm-hmm. they get injured or whatever and they're done. Um, and so we just thought we're going to move on to baseball, basketball more. Uh, we still love football. We watch tons of football. Uh, not so much college, but uh, a lot of pro football and we try to keep up with it. We just don't know the draft picks that well, like this guy, Colin Johnson. is a wide receiver, so that could be a good one. Yeah, don't know. Bad. That Jeremiah Orange. Jensen's autos sell okay. Um, then we got a – oh, this is this guy's supposed yeah, to be Fromm. decent. J- Jake Fromm. He's been in – he played for Georgia for a long time. Josh Allen. Um, pink packs. So that was decent. Yeah, not bad. That Joe Joe Burrow and the Jeremiah Denson paid for that first blaster in the rack pack, so that's pretty good. All right. These things so, look cool. These yeah, are pink. Derrick Henry and a Lamar Jackson. And behind that, we have a Colby Parkinson. Par- Parkinson? 
So that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's open up this blaster. See if we can pull another autograph or maybe a silver. I wonder how much the silver sell for. They sell for I saw much. A Joe, not too much. I saw a Joe Burrow silver rookie sold for like fifty-five dollars. So okay, well that's they have not some bad. Value, but that's also the best guy in the product. Well, so. right. What does his rookie sell his for? His base rookie sells for like twelve to like ten to fifteen bucks. About okay. All right, so let's see what we get out of this pack. There's a Sam Darnold. Got a purple coming up. A purple, John Elway. And Tyler Johnson, rookie. And Eckler. Um, the product last year was really hot, this product was, because it was coming off that huge year with Baker and all those guys and... People this were eating up football cards, and I'm not sure this year how, how well these are selling, but I think there's quite a bit of interest in them. It seems like it could be a good rookie class just because of all the QBs in it. But. There's a silver um, of K.J. Hill, wide receiver for Ohio State. There's a Jake Fromm again. Let's see where he's Terry Bradshaw. K.J. Hill. Yeah, so they're going to do the NFL draft virtually, or, yeah, virtually, right? They're going to do it over um, the internet. World Wide Web. The World Wide Web. That guy, I think, is pretty Sean good. Sean Vaughn, green rookie. These are not numbered. There's so a lot of, like, There's all these non-numbered, yeah. I think, because they're leaving them all for the hobby, I guess. Here's Isaiah Simmons, rookie. I'd say these are probably fairly good value. I think the ROI on this right now is probably pretty decent. I think it's not bad for. They're selling these boxes on eBay for yeah, like I think thirty it's bucks. Good, yeah. I mean, the stuff that just the base rookies have a little bit of value, um, and they're cool. So there's a, nice baker, there's a blue. baker blue. See, I've seen an auto out of like about every other blaster. It seems like so. Philip cool Rivers. Get another autograph out of here too. But that one to get that mojo looking auto thing is cool. Yeah, that's cool. What was what was who was that player again? What's his? Jeremiah Vinson, I think. But you don't know much about him other than not much. Besides that, his stuff sells okay. I don't see a like a round projection for There's him. There's a Marquise there. Brown silver. That guy's good. Yeah, he's good. Uh, Mims, Denzel Mims from, uh, or no, Baylor, sorry. Yep. I want to say Oregon. I saw the green. All right, let's see. Last pack. Fun break. Definitely may have to do some. Definitely may. That just sounds like uh, I said. He's a, D, he's a DB, actually. He's not a running back. Who is? <laughs> the autograph. Oh. Oh, we got another one. autograph. Sweet. All right, so. Ooh, and another joke. Ooh, nice. That's a good card. To get two Joes out of yeah. um, that amount is cool. So, so yeah, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I think we'll do some more of this. I think Let so us too. know on the comments below if you'd like us to do more. I know we don't have as many football viewers as baseball or basketball. but Personally, I like the um, Shea Patterson. He, he's okay. Shea Patterson. This is, go, like, late. this is a silver Shea Patterson. And let's have Shea lead the way here. The blasters seem to be kind of the way to go here. It's the same guy. I know it's different. Marlon Davidson. He looks like a DT. <laughs> I put his autograph way over here on the side. Um, yeah. I was not going to say three is like a defensive end DT number. Three is usually not, actually. Three is like a or receiver, wide receiver. I've seen some guys. Um, but... Anyways, let's see. You. We'll look up that card. But let us know uh, in the comments below what you thought of this break. He's, he is a defensive end. He is defensive end. But three definitely, and you guys quote me if I'm wrong, uh, but I that is typically not yeah, a defensive well, end number. I've seen, like, recently it seems like the numbers things have kind of changed. Yeah. Especially in college. It has. Changed. It has a lot. Because um, yep. that used to be, like, strictly like a wide receiver or a kicker number, yep. actually. Yep, kicker number, yep. Um, sometimes QBs. Or even a quarterback, too, yep. But, um, now it seems like defensive ends have been ha wearing lower numbered, like, kind of like three through seven QBs are kind of in, like, the nine through 15 range yeah. and then receivers are like in the 80s so I don't know just depends yeah 
Yep, there is tradition there, but I think they've kind of gone away from it a little I bit. So too. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this break. I think we did rather well. Got two autographs, and let us know. You know, you guys definitely know more about this stuff than we do. Um, yeah, we know a decent amount about the product, just not the rookie class necessarily. I, I tell so. you what, the cards look really good. Yeah, they look cool. I mean, I don't so. know as far as you know all the centering and all that, but they think, look sharp. I think the blasters may be a little bit better in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know, but I know JT Pack Breaks, uh, our buddy here on YouTube, he's done a lot, and he started picking up, I think he really liked the value pack, so but I, think, I guess it all depends. Yeah, I think it's the pink Pulsars. Yeah. I think the pink Pulsars are really cool looking, um, and I don't like the blues or the purples necessarily. Yeah, the but pinks are cool. The two autos are nice, so. Yeah. You're not guaranteed that, but... No. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know how you think we did. And if you like this video, would you like us to do another one? We will probably do one if we get some good feedback. So thanks a lot. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.